First, we'll take a look at how Schaeffer has traditionally uh, proposed to uh, make enclosures using their front panel concept. And if you go to their website, you will, uh, under download, you'll find uh, that you can download, uh, let me see, from the menu, uh, if you go to manuals, you can uh, find manuals such as this one, the housing assembly manual. And uh, if you open this one up, you um, will see a description of how you can put together housings based on uh, side profiles and having a um, top and a bottom cover and a front and a back side. There's also uh, so-called housing, housing profiles. These are housing profiles. So instead of having a full side, you have um, just like um, a 90 degree angle that keeps two uh, sides together. And uh, that means you have all in all six panels made using housing profiles. And um, this describes quite accurately how you need to place whole certain places and how the cavities, which uh, how deep the cavities should be here and there in order to achieve these. But we have made a script that does this automatically. So this is what I will be uh, demonstrating in the next um, uh, or in the first uh, part of the housing uh, series of do-it-yourself videos we are launching. And um, as an example, we have um, this, um, this enclosure made. And uh, here you can see that it's an, an example using uh, side profiles. We have two side profiles here, and then we have a front and back and top and bottom uh, cover. And uh, this is how it's delivered from Sheffer. It's uh, laminated on uh, this uh, piece of cardboard. So all the metal you saw just before on the laminated cardboard has now been put together to this uh, small box. If uh, you want to see a close-up of the box, you can see it uh, right here. We have, um, this is the side sections, this is um, the end panels. They are in this case completely the same. We have a bottom and a top and I even put some rubber pads under the bottom. So that's, um, that's the, the box that we are going to take a look at now how to make. And, um, if you look at the document from Sheffer, the uh, housing assembly manual, you will see on the side section that here are all the details, the, the various uh, distances that you need to take into account if you want to design these panels uh, manually. But this is all done automatically if you're using our script. So what I'll do now is to uh, launch uh, front design here. Then you go to the script section. And there you find a script called Sheffer Housings. And this is distributed along with a front panel designer. However, in uh, these videos, I'll be using some scripts that you find under user scripts. And these are locally installed on my, on my machine because they are the scripts that I have made um, and which I'll be demonstrating. Although you may expect that this script will be updated in the future to the latest version. But if you want the really latest version that I made, you need to go to, uh, to GitHub to fetch it there. And um, I can just quickly show you. If you go to uh, Skahoy Open Engineering on uh, GitHub, you, uh, you'll see more or less this. This is a lot of open source stuff that we distribute from our company. If you go to various front design scripts, then you find all the latest versions of um, my script for front design. Okay, so we have the Skahoy front design JavaScripts, which we are looking at in these videos. We also have the Sheffer housing manual, the PDF file I showed you just before, and which looks like this. And now if we go to front design and we take the Sheffer housing script here and press start, then you'll see the automated way of creating the, this, uh, this box. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do when you select uh, this uh, software is to uh, decide 
Um, are you gonna make a housing with side profiles or side sections or enclosure profiles? So we use side sections, press OK, and then you need to enter um, some information here. See, in this case, I chose not the 42 but the 56 millimeter high side section. Um, I wonder what was the width of this box. Um, I guess it was 100. Uh, the depth, uh, 80 millimeters, these are just the default values. That's probably true of this one too. I think I may have made this a 2.5 millimeter thickness of the panels. Okay, by looking at it, uh, or maybe it's just two, it's probably just two. And uh, it's red. And um, then finally, if, uh, of course you can now just press create and it will create these uh, panels for you. Uh, but it can be helpful if you want to have it with uh, a kit um, um, because you, you, now you get four, pro, uh, four different front panels. But if you want also to order the, the right kit and the right length, uh, screw kit and the right length of the side sections, it can be useful to choose if you want it in black or natural. So I choose natural here. And um, then you have some options uh, down here in the bottom. Uh, okay, let's just avoid the kit for now and then uh, press create and see what happens. Okay, so it actually creates only one panel. And uh, the panel you see here is called front. And the reason why it just made one panel is because I had the test run checkbox uh, selected. So what you see in this panel, and it can be a di bit difficult to see these orange engravings is because um, the panel is red. I'll just quickly change the, the color to um, black is definitely much better. So what you can see here is I have used engravings to, um, to make it clear how the side sections on the box are, um, if, if you look at the box uh, from the end, how the side section will look inside. And that will help you to position any additional holes, etc., that you want on the box. Um, and then you can see how the top plate up here will be um, positioned. And as you can see, the top plate seems to have a cavity. And that's actually true if we just quickly open this um, box. I will just take the end where I just placed, I just placed two screws here to make it easy to unmount. So what you can see on the close up here is the cavity. You can see that this panel has a cavity cut down here and here. And when you look at it straight from the end, maybe I can zoom in a little bit. There you can see the details. That it actually looks pretty much like um, on, on the drawing on the computer screen. So um, like here, I think I might have 2.5 millimeter panels for, for this one actually. Okay, so the test run is really to inform you of what you will have if you uh, make all four panels. So it's useful to start out there and say, okay, yes, this is how it should look, etc. And then you go back to script, you start the script again, house with, housing with the side profiles or side sections. Uh, all the width are remembered, so you have the same settings here. Let's make it 2.5 this time. Uh, red, let's choose a natural kit. Let's disable the guide engravings. The, the way I illustrated the presence of the side profile was by using an engraving. And if you don't remove it, you will actually have an engraving and they will fill it in with orange paint at Chef AG. So, um, but that's the only way I currently can graphically show such uh, hidden items. But they are really helpful when you want to make sure that you're placing things where there are space on the backside. And then I disable the test run. So, create. And now I'll get all four panels plus. As you can see here, the ordering application opens up and it has already selected two side profiles Number two, anodized, it has to have the length uh, 75, which is true because my box was 80 and the aluminum plate in each end is 2.5 millimeters. So that subtracts altogether 5 millimeters. So there are 75 millimeter left for the side profile. Also, it has selected the assembly kit and the assembly kit uh, was the one that uh, was responsible for delivering the screws 
and the rubber pads under the bottom so don't forget that and that's really nice that you also get this into your order form so if you go back to front panel designer you now see we have this panel which is the front in red but without the guide engravings we have the top panel and the bottom panel in this case they are completely identical because uh, yeah they are <laughs> and then the back panel is identical to the front panel but this may not be the case all the time okay so um, all you need to do now is to save these for instance you you could save this uh, let's just do it like that then you go to order, order current front panel, and then if you go to start ordering program, in the ordering application you would then have all the four panels and you'll be able to see in the bottom what is the total cost of making your box. So that's how you can basically use the script to create a traditional Sheffer housing based on side sections.